when Kobe was in his prime. We were all like eight, nine, 10, 11 year old kids. That's the time when you're the most impressionable, especially when you're a fan of a sport. Right? So it's like, you see, you grew up with Kobe. Even though he was older than us, we grew up with Kobe. We've seen him from the beginning at high school to retire, scoring 60 in the last game. And then three, what, three, four years later, he dies. So it's super fucking like, what the fuck just happened? This guy's not supposed to die. We only got to see him throughout his his NBA career. Then he wins an Oscar, and now he's dead. He had so, like, I think the fact that I think the fact that we thought he had so much more to do made the shock factor even worse. Or did did he have something more to do, or did he? There's, there's only a reason he was still a legend. Or did he do what he had to do, and we don't realize he did what he had to do because we have quite expectations. And this is one of the problems in this play. I have an expectation about you, 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 and you, because I'm so concerned about you, I'm not concerned about that. That, yeah, we might have had this to do for our eyes to see, but maybe he feel that. Maybe he feel that. And he obviously did, because with this big of a topic and this big of a deal, so a lot of people, you're not gonna just tell stuff, you're not gonna just be like, a light can just die. No, I can't say that. But he might have done what he told us. He just didn't realize that. Yeah, I, I get that. Hey, Rich, are you still there? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. I thought you went to fucking somewhere. Pizza Hut or something. Um, so. Oh, okay. Cool. Chilling. All right. Oh, cool. So, Rich, I have, a, I have a question for you. Take your MJ bias aside, and and I and I can say that because I'm right there with you on the MJ train. MJ, MJ, or Kobe. Three seconds left on the clock. Game seven. NBA championships. Who are you giving the last shot to? And we're gonna go to uh, Simon and Daryl after this. But I want it, Rich. I want to hear what you gotta say. Kobe or MJ. Kobe or MJ on the last shot, and why? And this was a courtesy of si- Simon brought this question up. I want to give him this credit. Uh, I, I'll go MJ. And my reason is because MJ was so competitive. Yes, Kobe was too. But Jordan didn't even let the series go past this game. That's what we keep telling the real all right, take 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 the six game. Take the stats away, right? And I like to use the stats too, right? But take the rings away. Take the I mean, well, don't take the rings away. But take take not the not the six or the seven game thing. Just who is more clutch in the in the end of the game, the last shot, and why? Who's more clutch? And what and what is your proof to back that up? More clutch, I would say. Jordan, still. Okay. I don't, I don't think there's a wrong answer, but go ahead. No, I'm just saying he, you know, for making game winners against the Celtics, against Birds, you know, for hitting up against the Jazz, with Stock, Stockton and uh, Malone, you know, nothing against Kobe, but Kobe just dominated. I mean, Kobe, Kobe, I mean, and I don't usually defend Kobe, but in Kobe's defense, though, if I'm debating you, Kobe did go up against the first big three with the Celtics, Paul Pierce, KG, and Ray Allen, and on top of Rondo, too, along with other other and, good... And Jordan went against the Piston bad boys when there was handshake. Oh, yes, before. yes, and that was a different rules, though. Back, I'm saying, what I'm saying is the level of talent. The bad boys, yes, the bad boys were one of the greatest teams obviously they proved that by winning but what i'm saying is they weren't they weren't necessarily the rules make the game different right so take the rules aside who has more talent on that team ray allen paul pierce kg and rondo versus isaiah thomas uh dennis rodman a young dennis rodman right john sally i mean the the pistons were great but I don't think they were more talented basketball wise. Were the Pistons though better than that? That's that was the first time we saw a big three. That was before the the uh, LeBron, D Wade, and Chris Bosh big three too. By the way, that's why right. LeBron joined the Heat to beat them. 
So that just goes to show that's how good they were prior, before LeBron was on the Heat. So I don't and know before, if the Pistons were better. I don't know if that, that bad boy team was more talented than that Celtics team. Just bad, but the bad boys team won, champion, won a championship already. Three times. Three times over. Fail. Damn, 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 damn. Came back from the motherfucking dead. My mom used to tell me all the time, she said, sometimes, if you're just a little bit too high, get a little too full of yourself, you must be brought down. You will be taught a fucking lesson. You know, she was like, I don't care how bad you are, son. There's somebody else out there just a little bit bad. I said, no. Hell no. Mama, somebody got to be the baddest. So did they, that big three didn't even win a championship yet. They did the first year, I believe, that they went up against Kobe, right? Yeah. And after that first year, there was even, like they was contenders, but they they was irrelevant. They weren't irrelevant. They were one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league. What are you talking? About? Like the Celtics? Because they never really got back to it anymore. Bro, they went to the finals again against Kobe and he won. What are you talking? About? Like, you make the they finals the first very year. relevant. They they won. They was a one and done. They weren't one and done. They've been in the finals multiple times. Then they turned into the Clippers Lob City record. Oh, you're just talking out your asshole right now. No, because after y'all did after Boston won, Miami the big three happened in Miami. That was after we're talking about They won one championship. That was after the Kobe well, let's see, when did LeBron go to the Heat? In two thousand and the year after the big three. Well, Kobe won his last championship in 2009, my senior year. I remember that very well. I think uh-huh. I think LeBron was already on the Heat at that time. I might be wrong, but I think he was. Or what? Or or no? Daryl, I no. actually remember watching. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I got it wrong. The Celtics—they both went back to back. The Lakers and the Celtics both went back to back. Right. The Celtics won one and, and didn't, uh, the Lakers won one against them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Because didn't the Lakers beat the Spurs a couple years prior to that with Pau Gasol? Because I know Kobe won two with Pau, right? Yeah. Yeah. True. You can make a better case that Kobe faced better competition on the West than in the East. Yeah. Back, back. Most of the teams in the West like for the last 20 years have been better than the East overall. But starting back then, that's when, that was during the era when the Phoenix Sun won 50 games and still didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, that was in the beginning of the D'Antoni era with uh, Amari, yeah. Amari and Steve Nash and, and Barbosa. But uh, all right, Simon, what? who would you pick as three seconds left Game seven, who's taking the last shot? Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant, in your opinion? I'm gonna I'm gonna choose my words very carefully here. If I had to pick the best player in general, I'm picking Jordan. Best, but with that best player to take the last with that, shot. With that specific scenario, I'm gonna take Kobe because Kobe had the ability to lock down more threes. He had the ability to Take a jump shot. He had to go to post up and fade away. He had more option for a game-winning shot. Jordan had more play opportunities to set him up for a game-winning shot. And if you want to look at it, and you guys can go through this when you're off time, but Kobe has more game-winning shots than Jordan does. If you want to go statistics, he also has more abilities in his range of game. Post up, fade away, three-point shot, pull up, whatever. Jordan had a lot more playoff games. Let me set this play up. Let me fade away. Let me now killer instinct wise. I think they're both equal. Best player wise, Jordan definitely had a little more gut to glory. 
But if I had if I had to give a ball to someone with three stacks, I'm going to give it to Kobe. I'm going to take my chance. That's fair. That's fair. And I actually agree with most of what you just said. I mean, Kobe, and, I, and you know I stand up, and Daryl, you're going to get the last word on this, but you know I, I'm a MJ guy all, all day, but I agree with what Simon just said. Kobe actually was a better three-point shooter than MJ. And not saying that that, that the shot has to be a three-point shooter or a three-pointer or whatever, but like Kobe, I don't know who is more clutch with as far as just with, with the two-pointer, but I do know that I would say Michael Michael's attack to the rim maybe was a little bit better. But I do think and it hurts me to say this, but I do think Kobe's jumper was like 0.1% better than, than Jordan. Still would go to my favorite Jordan. Um, and, and and that's just who I think I would trust more. But I would have no problem getting it. But I do agree with Simon's. Uh, Corey, I just got to say one thing real quick. Before you say Kobe had a better jumper than Jordan... Well, I said I said three pointer. I said to be clear, I said three pointer, and then I said I don't know whose field goal percentage with when it came to the uh, mid range was better. I I have to look at the stats, but I think I'm uh, almost positive that his three point percentage was, was better. You asked a simple question. You talked about a game winner. You want to look it up? Kobe's got more game winners than Jordan. So no, but what Simon said was true though. It's I think Michael Jordan was the better overall three. basketball player, but I do think Kobe's the jumper. three pointers is the same. I, just think, it up. I think his overall shot was just a little bit better. A little bit, a little bit more accurate. But you also got to think Kobe took more shots. He yeah. did have played 13 years. I'm and talking it took, about, I'm it talking took about Kobe 20 seven. years just to pass Jordan. Well, no, I'm not saying he's a I don't think he's a better overall basketball player. Because you stop. No, the question no, was, I'm saying, who said it on the clock? Yeah, I'm taking Jordan, but I agree with what Simon said. We're, we're not talking about overall better players, because overall better players, Jordan by far is. He had better skill set than his ability, but you talked about three seconds on the clock, game winner. I'm taking. I'm, take, I'm still taking Jordan, but I I, I like Simon's, Simon's reason why he picked it. He's sitting in the arena on his Ferrari. And I, I think I told somebody this, but this is the only time I let a teammate down. I feel like I threw a teammate under the bus. Game three or game two, we're playing in the arena, and he's in the arena smoking a cigar. He's smoking a freaking cigar before the game, as if it's over. So Jawan and I get off the bus, and uh, and he's like, yo, who's checking me today? And this is when you're supposed to say, man, shut up, man. We about to, we about to beat y'all. And then he went on the score 54 there in Chicago. <laughs> What it, it would be, uh, what the situation was, he was just go out and he's gonna get go after it. But I think Jordan was just like he was just on another level when he came to that stuff. But it was like clutch threes or clutch uh, game winning shots or like you know what, just whatever. Threes? Huh? No, no. Well, I should say threes, but like I think it's just in anything that you did. Like I mean, you, we can't like. Like, just look at the, at the race that he got, or the MVP that he got. I mean, compared to Kobe, he got five regular season MVPs to Kobe's one, and then he got six finals MVPs compared to uh, Kobe's two, even though, I mean, you can argue that Shaq, you know, there and stuff like that, but... Um, 
I feel like you're arguing more, like, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you're arguing more who's better as an overall basketball player. I think, I think, and and whoever you say is not a wrong answer, but who are you, who are you taking? Come on, I'm away right now. I need six minutes of rest. Hey, hey, you all right? You all right? For the last shot, and why specifically just for that last shot? Well, I mean, I still think Jordan, I'm trying to think of what game that was. Uh, was it game six in the final, or whichever final it was, when, uh, when he hit the shot over a pretty good low? Again, oh, against the Cavs? Yeah, yeah, I don't watch him again. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I think it's like in that kind of moment. Like, and that was what, what fifth or sixth ring? Oh, uh, that was like, I think that was like his fifth ring. Say. Well, that was that was still the Eastern Conference uh, Finals. I want to say that wasn't the the championship because oh, they're both in the East. Right, right, right. Well, I mean, still, I mean, he's in the playoffs, or whatever, but I mean, but yeah, all of it. I think for me, it's just like he, he just he got it. There's That's no, it. there's no wrong answer. There's no. Yeah, wrong live answers. life, you know, the best way that you can, and don't leave uh, with any regrets. So. And I'm glad, I'm glad you said that again because that was a good message. Not, not being sarcastic either. Um, I'm a thank you guys, thank you to my co-hosts. Uh, couldn't do it without them. Obviously, this podcast be boring as shit. I'm talking to myself. Um, so <laughs> glad, glad my my boys could come through and uh, show some love to Kobe, the legend, and prayers out to his wife, prayers out to his kids, his family, anybody that was close to him, and all the fans. You know, all of us. Fucking sucks, but. At least we can talk about the good times and play some fucking music. And that's it. And then we'll see you guys next time. Locker Room Talk Podcast. We out. We out. We out. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight. However, I couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I once had a guidance counselor tell me that I shouldn't play basketball, that it would never amount to anything for me. His negativity towards me made me strong. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace.